How did Lisa from K-pop girl group Blackpink go from an unknown to a global superstar with 40 million Instagram followers? A lot of hard work, a little bit of luck, and a look high fashion houses just can't seem to resist. Born Pranpia Monoban in Bangkok, Thailand, she later changed her name to Lalisa. When she was 13 years old, she entered a competition in Thailand for South Korea's YG Entertainment Company. She was the only one signed out of 4,000 candidates. From there, she moved to Seoul, South Korea to become a trainee for the agency. Her training was no cakewalk. Billboard reports that she trained seven days a week, 12 hours a day, and was graded every month on her singing, dancing, and rapping skills. According to her now bandmate Jenny, Lisa always got A's for everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! After five years of hard work, which included performing in a dance group with her fellow trainees, she took the stage name Lisa and joined Blackpink, which launched in August 2016. Today, she's famous for her unbelievable dance moves, and she's the most followed K-pop star on Instagram. You can see some of Lisa's famous dance moves on her YouTube channel, where she posts solo performances and travelogues. This past April, she became a meme when one of her videos showed off her incredible long legs. The Twitterverse started taking a screenshot of her legs and combining it with other recognizable characters like Luigi and Spock. Even celebrities got in on the fun. Stephen Colbert and Dolly Parton were among the stars who posted themselves with Lisa's incredible legs. The original video has more than 41 million views. Most recently, Blackpink dropped an album on October 2, 2020. The album featured the song Ice Cream, the group's collaboration with Selena Gomez that first dropped in August. Gomez told Variety, The collaboration's definitely a joyful thing. Being a part of it brought me joy. It's hopefully what everybody else will get from it too. I just want people to feel good. As if Lisa's incredible dancing, rapping, and singing skills weren't enough, she's also a star in the fashion world. In September 2020, she became a global ambassador for the French fashion house Céline, the first global ambassador since the brand's new artistic director, Eddy Slimane, took over in 2018. Even before the partnership was announced, Lisa had a very public relationship with the brand, having appeared at past runway shows and posed for portraits taken by Slimane. Lisa said in a statement published by British Vogue, To me, Celine is unrivaled, and Eddie Sliman has such a multifaceted talent, from clothing design to photography. He creates this rare, incredible, and desirable world through his vision. I'm always inspired by his work. It's truly an honor and pleasure to be able to work with Eddie as Celine's first ambassador. It's not Lisa's only luxury fashion collaboration. In September, it was also announced that Lisa would be the ambassador for Italian luxury brand Bulgari in Korea. The brand announced the collaboration with an Instagram post of Lisa wearing an assortment of Bulgari jewelry, looking predictably amazing. The caption read, Sensational in every language. Her enviable talents have taken the world by storm. And now the newest horizon for Lisa is becoming Bulgari's ambassador for Korea. Making our infamous snake her spirit animal, Lisa immerses herself in the daring world of Serpenti. But Lisa also has a silly side and loves to make her fellow group members laugh. In fact, the other Blackpink members like to call Lisa the happy virus. She's known for playing practical jokes and pranks on the other group members, keeping things light for everyone. Blackpink's Rosé told Billboard, Lisa just makes a lot of jokes. She's like a class clown. Fanmate Jenny added, Yeah, she would be the one making jokes, but when we put her in the spot, she gets really shy. Oh, this is so hard! What does the group do when they're just hanging out? It might not sound all that different from what you like to do with your friends. Lisa told Jalu's China, In general, we go to bed very late, and we like to eat supper while watching movies. Despite the group's huge international fame, Lisa doesn't think that success has changed them. As she said in the same interview, The only difference is that we have more fans who love us. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite performers are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.